Hello YouTube, this is a big old proof. So before we even start the proof, we have to understand the definition of, of what it means for a function to belong to a big O. So here I wrote down a de the definition. Um, you have f of n belongs to O g of n if f of n is less than or equal to some constant times g of n for all n greater than or equal to some constant k, where c and k are positive constants. Uh, we can rewrite this equation here like this such that now f of n belongs to big O of g of n if f of n divided by g of n is less than or equal to some constant for all n greater than or equal to k. So here we have f of n equals n squared plus 2n plus 1. Um, and we want to prove that it is big O of n squared or that it belongs to big O of n squared. So rewriting this here with what we have we get n squared plus 2n plus 1 divided by our g of n is n squared and we want to prove that's less than or equal to some constant for all n greater than or equal to some constant k so let's choose k to equal 1 so now we can write this here as for all n greater than or equal to 1 and we want to find a function uh, bigger than this one. So what we can do is we can replace everything that's not as big of a of a variable as n squared as what we're dividing by. So we know that n squared plus 2n squared plus n squared all over n squared is greater than n squared plus 2n plus 1 over n squared. For all n greater than or equal to 1. Well, actually, for all n greater than 1. So, what this means is this equals 1 plus 2 plus 1. So it equals 4. So that means that 4 is less than, I mean 4 is greater than n squared plus 2n plus 1 over n squared for all n greater than 1. So let's choose our constant to be 4. So now we're going to let c equals 4 such that n squared plus 2n plus 1 over n squared is less than or equal to 4. For all n greater than or equal to 1. Thus, f of n belongs to big O, g of n. All right. And another way to see this is for us to use the first definition. So, if n squared plus 2n plus 1 is less than or equal to some constant, we said our constant is 4 times g of n for all n greater than or equal to 1, then we know f of n belongs to big O of g of n. Alright, um, here our g of n is n squared. So let's prove this. 
squared plus 2n plus 1 less than or equal to 4 times n squared for all n greater than or equal to 1. Um, so let's subtract from both sides. So 2n plus 1 less than or equal to 3n squared and we have 0 less than or equal to 3n squared minus 2n minus 1. And we can't forget the for all n greater than or equal to 1. So the lowest value n can be here is 1. So let's plug in 1 here. We get 0 less than or equal to 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 1. And we can rewrite that as 3 minus 2 minus 1. So 0 less than or equal to 0. Okay. So that is true. So let's try another value. Let's choose uh, n equals 2. So now we get 3 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 minus 1. Is n equal to 12? Minus 4 minus 1. So 0 is less than or equal to 7. And you can see that this continues for all n greater than or equal to 1. So therefore, well, let's use the nice little 3 dots. Therefore, that's what the 3 dots mean. Um, n squared plus 2n plus 1 equals big O of n squared. Alright, thank you.